From our studios in Culver City, California, my name is Tunde Obaza. This is The Bridge Radio, and today's Med Hour with Dr. Stella. Dr. Stella is joining us from her residence in uh, her office in uh, Tennessee and the Atlantic Coast while we're here in the Pacific Coast, where she covers it coast to coast and globally. And um, in the last segment, we had visited about the COVID-19 and the stress and all, you know, taking care of oneself, but we know also that it's been causing a lot of anxiety and stress. And uh, Dr. Stella, which is so versatile, has just uh, recently wrote a book on, the, on mental health. And um, I want to say again, thank you for joining us again today, Dr. Stella. Thank you for having me. Glad to be here. And again, welcome our viewers around the world. Thank you. Let's just dive into the question. You recently wrote a book or a guide regarding, regarding anxiety and depression and how, many, how people can deal with it during this pandemic. Can you tell us about the book and why you wrote the book? Um, I'm going to tell you just a little bit about the book because I want people to buy the book. So I'm going to let you know a little bit about it. All right. Um, the book is actually about coping with anxiety and depression during this COVID-19. As a provider, uh, I've seen the change in my patients. I've seen the change in friends and family members. And even people I see in the grocery store, I see when I go to the grocery every day, everybody's stressed out, people are worried. People are worried, am I going to get this COVID-19? People are worried, am I going to be laid off? People are worried, I don't have a job. And this is what we are living every day. And this is happening across the globe. It's not only in the United States and it's causing a lot of anxiety and depression. The worst part of this is, remember, Pre-COVID, there were people that had the history of anxiety and depression. Think of what they are going through now, what is going on. Their illness, their condition is compounded. People can't take it anymore. I was actually reading um, an article about a couple of days ago, and it was saying that about um, the suicide rates here in the United States has increased to about 600%. That is truly mm. devastating. People are truly going through a lot. So when I looked at all this, I figured out what could be a way, what can I do to help people? What is it that I can give to my patients? It's just a, a guide, a pamphlet. It's not a thick book. It's something that you can go through that tells you exactly how to deal with this. Sometimes patients will come to you, they don't even know they have anxiety or depression. They're telling you, this is what I'm going through. I don't sleep at night. My heart is racing. I have all these thoughts because they don't know they have anxiety. But when you go through this book, you'll be able to know what to discuss with your primary care provider, what to tell them. And I encourage you, be upfront with your provider, be upfront with your counselor, your therapist, tell them, it's only when you tell them what you're going through that they will know how to help you. And also I've noticed recently with people, you know, maybe their job closed or they were laid off, you know, people don't have anything to do. They don't have employment. This is the time. If you have a skill or a hobby that you've been thinking or you were doing pre-COVID, try to nurture it. Try to get a certificate. Most people are doing things not on Zoom. Most people are doing things online. You can go to online school, learn, get a certificate or something, change profession, try to do something, meditate. Yes, we don't go, most of us don't go to church, but churches are social isolating. But most churches are on TV, they're on radio. Try to meditate, talk to your God, find a way to relieve stress. All these that are put in the book to help you, like I said, it's just a pamphlet. Take it, understand it, call on family members, do Zoom. You know, isolation can affect your mental health. 
even if when you do Zoom, it's not good enough. That's, we, we are missing that human touch, touching human beings, you know, feeling somebody. Me telling somebody you love them is different than seeing them face to face. But again, it goes back to what we discussed the last time. If you can, please take the vaccine so that we can start doing all these things we are used to and return back to normalcy. I did not quite get or mention the title of your book. Is it Coping with Anxiety and Depression During COVID-19? You got it, yes. That's what it is. Thank you. And now, uh, you, I know you, you, you did mention uh, 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 managing mental health, but I will go further to elaborate a little bit more on it. what can people do during this pandemic, most especially to manage mental health. I know you say, yeah, you did mention about meditation and everything else, but what causes the anxiety? Is it the lack of people or the thought process? What is it? Actually, it's a combination of so many things. So many things could make you be anxious. Mm. The mere fact that you are home, that will make you anxious. Think of students here in the United States. Back in March, a couple of students went on spring break. They were happy. Oh, we're going to Florida. We're going to Disney World for spring break. They never came back. That was it. School closed mm. because of COVID. Some of them did not have graduation. Assuming a child that is going through anxiety or even depression, and you add this on top of it, it makes it difficult. So, so many things. Thanksgiving is a time when families come together, celebrate what God has done for them for the year, and give God the glory. But this year, not many of us were able to do it. We did what we call Zoom conference. You have family members in different parts of the world and you all will Zoom in. It's not the same. It's not the same coming together, telling your uncle, can I have a piece of your chicken? Uh, somebody throwing um, a ball of, um, let's say meat or something to you, just the fun of it. We're not having it this year. Even Christmas is the same. So these are things that are worrying people. People are getting anxious, people are, getting depressed, even people actually that are suffering from this, people that have ongoing depression, anxiety, they're going through a lot, they don't even remember to take their medicine. But I'm telling everybody, this is not the time to let down. This is the time to try your best, do the best you can, use all the resources available to you. There are hotlines set up you can call. You have your mental health providers you can call. You have your therapies. This is just transitional. This is just a phase. All this will go down. Just hang in there. Hang in there and use all your resources you can so that we will be able to get through this. Lastly, how and where can your, our viewers buy your book uh, regarding mental health and virtually other books? Okay. Like you said, I, I do have a couple of books I've written. This one on mental health. I do have a also, one called Once Upon a Time. These are times people are staying at home. You can grab that and read it for your children, read it with your children, or read it for them. I grew up in Africa. We like a tell by moonlight, stories that you tell about the turtle, about the animals, you know. These are all the stories I've put in that book. Grab it. It's on Amazon. You can equally also email me so that I can send you a copy. The email is medhourstella at gmail.com. But everything is on, um, on Amazon. I have one written about Nigerian history. If you've not been to Nigeria, if you don't know a lot of, about Nigeria, grab that one and see if you can read more and know about Nigeria politics and what goes on in Nigeria. And that's another one also I, I wrote about the secret to a diaspora marriage. There are people mm. here, most of us that came all the way from Africa, we came here, we had culture shock. We're trying to adjust to the environment. It's putting stress on marriages. It's putting stress on the, on the husband or the, the wife. I've been married for 25 years. It's been a blessing. I enjoy my marriage. My husband and I, we have four children. God has been faithful. So I put in everything that had made my marriage work in this book. It's called Secret to a Diaspora Marriage. You can also grab that on Amazon. Interesting. 
Well, Dr. Stella, is there anything else you can share with us on this med hour that I haven't asked that you want to share with our listeners before we go? I think I think I've pretty much shared everything I want to share, but I, just like always, I always tell the viewers, the greatest gift you can give yourself is your health. Nobody can give you that gift, even on a Christmas day. So please take care of your health and be well. Thank you. Well, if you want to find out more about Med Hours, just check out Dr. Stella's page, uh, go to his, her Facebook, her Instagram, or YouTube page, or join us here at BRTVN to check more. Stay tuned because it will come to you bi weekly. Until then, we say keep your fire burning and don't let any cold vibe quench your fire. My name is Tunde Obaze, and this from the bridge to your bridge. Until then, I say peace.